Hi, I'm Sharon Durgar from the University of Arizona College of Medicine in Phoenix, and I was a moderator um, in the session on heart failure and cardiomyopathy here at BCBS Sessions 2024 in Chicago. I'm here with one of the presenters of the session, Dr. Ravi Sonkar from Washington University in St. Louis. Welcome, good to have you. And uh, thank you so much for your seminar on um, macrophages in cardiometabolic HFF. Now, um, it's becoming increasingly clear that um, unique hallmarks uh, contribute to um, HFF or heart failure with preserved ejection fraction and distinguish it uh, from HFREF. And your research, the work that you presented today, um, highlighted the contribution of the immunologic responses of the heart. Can you tell us about the role that you played in this study and what led to this work? Hello, everyone. So I'm, I'm working as a senior scientist in Washington University, and uh, I started working on this project with Dr. Prabhu from uh, last six months. And uh, we know that the heart, uh, heart failure with preserved rejection fraction is a metabolic syndrome, and many patients are uh, struggling with this syndrome. So I am working on the development of the heart failure with ejection fraction a mouse model by inducing the high fat diet in the mouse and we studying the profiling the macrophage and the role of the macrophage in development of the high fat diet and this project I am leading from last six months and uh, in future we are looking for the identifying the marker in the development of the high fat in macrophages. Wonderful. So can you tell us uh, what hypothesis was addressed in this study and what were some of the key findings? Uh, we know that many patients struggling from the heart failure with the preserved ejection fraction and uh, uh, and uh, we know that this uh, uh, heart is caused by the metabolic syndromes like uh, increase in uh, insulin, obesity, diabetes and other metabolic disorder. So these things led us to study this project. And so what were some of the key findings of this project? So in this study, we found that the role of macrophages, so we found that the, by giving the high fat diet in a mouse, uh, we found the increase in the resident as well as the infiltrate macrophages because uh, heart has their own macrophages. Now we found that there are some macrophages which is infiltrate, infiltrate from other location to the heart. So these are the key findings. So one of the interesting findings concerned uh, macrophage depletion. Can you explain a little bit more about that? Sure. So like as I, as I mentioned that in the high fat diet induced half mice model, the infiltration and the resident macrophage number increasing. So we thought let's, let's we deplete these macrophages by using the dimerizer to see what's the effect. And uh, we deplete this, these macrophages by using a uh, mafia mouse, which is a uh, which is the fast ligand dimerization by using the dimerizer compound. And we found that the depletion of macrophages reverse the phenotype high, high fat diet and the mouse become exact like the control, control diet mouse. So that, uh, that indicates there's a strong uh, role of macrophage in the development of the half fat. That was very interesting. And I, I, I uh, was intrigued by your findings when you were presenting it in the session. So. Uh, but you're depleting total macrophages, right? Uh, yes. Okay, yes. and so HEF uh, is getting better, but also we're depleting macrophages throughout the system, right? Uh, yes, so that's why we performed the adaptive transfer study. Can you tell us more about that? Uh, this is a great question, and uh, in this study, we developed the HEF phenotype by inducing the we isolating the isolate the microphase, uh, microphase from the high fat high fat diet mouse and we induce in nave mouse which don't have any symptoms and interestingly we found that those nave mouse are able to develop the phenotype of half fat so this is like a great uh, uh, breakthrough of a study that's very exciting very exciting so how can these findings be used to improve patient care yeah, that's again a good question so now what we are doing as i mentioned in my in your first question that uh, we found that uh, in half pef mouse, the infiltrate and the resident macrophages are numbers increasing. 
So now we are trying to identify the biomarkers, especially like gene expression or some other protein expression or metabolomics to study the marker of in those macrophages, either in infiltrate or in uh, resident macrophages. If we identify those marker or target, so we can target particular those markers to rescue the uh, heart from the HFF. So in the adaptive transfer experiments, do you think that the macrophages that you put into the naive mice infiltrate into organs other than the heart, for example, the liver? So uh, again, this is a great question. So uh, I didn't mention the mechanism or the uh, uh, the method which I used to indu induce the macrophage from the heart failure to the naive mouse. So here what we did, we inject, we isolate the macrophage from the HFF mouse and then we induce the intracardial uh, injection in a direct into the heart of mouse. So we didn't go into the, into the circulation, we just inject in a heart. So that the other organ is not going to be affected by this uh, uh, macrophage induction. That's great. So we appreciate your insights into the mechanisms underlying cardiometabolic HFF. And we learned from you that the um, immunologic response is very important to understand in order to understand um, adverse remodeling in HFF. And it's going to be crucial in identifying new targets and therapies as we move forward for, for HEF Lab. Thank you so much you. for being here with us today and enjoy the rest of BCBS. Thank you.